Hey love, so I'm back to do another makeup tutorial. I was requested to do the makeup look that I posted on Instagram, if you girls remember, as well as in one of my Real Talk videos. So I actually wore the same hair, which is a video now live, now live on my channel, which is the Outre Dominican Blowout, and the color that I have on is DR30. As well as the makeup look is from the new Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette, which I absolutely love. The colors are so rich and intense in this palette that you really don't need a lot. They're very, very highly pigmented. So if you haven't gotten around to getting this palette, I would highly suggest either going to Ulta.com or to the actual Ulta store. This is an exclusive for Ulta only. So yes, ladies, this is a really great palette. The palette smells so good. Like the peanut butter and jelly palette smells amazing. It smells just like chocolate and peanut butter. As soon as you're placing it on your eyes, you just get like this really sweet, like intense smell. So I absolutely love this palette. I am like a huge Too Faced fan. So yes, girls, I hope you enjoyed the video. And for a more in-depth look of this particular outro here, the information or the link will be posted for you girls below. So I hope you have a great day and stay diva and delicious and enjoy the video. Okay, ladies, good morning. So this is normally what I do after I take a shower if I plan to put my makeup on. So the first thing I'm using is my Ultimate Skin Spa Facial Cleansing Brush Set by Vanity Planet along with my Purifying Facial Cleanser by Sunblock. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Either way, I like to splash my face with some cold water. It always seems to wake me up even more. Plus, it kind of like opens up my pores. So I'm going to go ahead and use my facial cleanser because I do have oily skin. So even though I went ahead and washed my face in the shower, I do like to really, really get it good and make sure there's no more oils. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and I place my facial cleanser. I like to use this one during the day because it's like really light to my face. And I went ahead and rinsed it off and I'm going to blot and damp, uh, or blot and <laughs> kind of like spot dry it with this washcloth that I purchased from Ikea. I love Ikea. These hand towels were 50 cents each. You guys know I'm already super cheap. So now I went ahead and I placed some water on my cleansing brush system and this is the daily facial cleansing brush which you can use every single day and there are two speeds so I'm putting it on the second speed and just with some clean fresh water I'm just going to massage that into circular motions around my entire face as well as my neck area. I love this facial cleansing brush because it really does make a difference. Normally when I do it at night you can tell because I'll just basically wash my face and it's clean but then once I use this brush you can tell like the difference because my skin is so bright it just looks like brand new skin like a baby's bottom like seriously like some new skin. So you just want to use that in circular motions. And now that my face is damp, I'm going to go back into my facial cleanser, splash a little water onto my hands along with my facial cleanser, and massage that into my face. And I'm going to use the second brush in the system. It does come with three brushes, and this brush is the exfoliating brush. Like I said, there's two speeds, and this one is a little bit harder than the first brush. Not hard to where it hurts your skin, but it feels so good. And this is the one that really, really does the job. Like, my face is so bright after I remove my makeup at night. I swear by this brush system. And I like to use it on the second speed because I just really feel like it really gets it clean. So now that my face is all clean, I went ahead and rinsed that off. I'm just going to wipe away the excess water and look at my face like seriously you guys this is like a nice canvas to work with i love a fresh clean face now it's time for my deep cleansing astringent like i said i have oily skin so i like to make sure that i get some of the oil out so i'll use this prior to anything on my skin with a cotton swab and underneath my eyes, I love to use this product, which is by Dermalogica. It's the Skin Hydrating Booster. I only use this under my eyes because it gives great moisturizer. And it also kind of like wakes my, my eyes up because sometimes they're puffy. Now, this is the new Rave, the Nivea Men's Pre-Shave Skin Balm. This is great for those who have oily skin. I've seen this on YouTube, and it really does work. So I went ahead and put a little bit of that on my skin. And prior to or after that, I cannot start off my day without my hydroxy cuts. 
this boosts my metabolism also gives me loads of energy and it also helps to lose weight so I've been using this for years so I'm gonna go ahead and brush in my brows and it's time to give me some brows I do have a more in-depth tutorial if you're interested in seeing this on how I do my brows and what I'm actually using is a double-sided spoolie there's a brush on one set one end and a uh, spoolie on the other and I got this in a boxy charm box like months ago, but it's a really good brush. And I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow. I love this stuff. And it's in the color chocolate because I don't like my brows too dark. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to head and draw my brows on. And of course, there is more work that needs to be done to them. So I just don't leave them like this. But this is the first step that I take. But like I said, if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial, I will place the link below. I will have a new tutorial up. So I went ahead and fixed up my brows and the first product that I'm going to place is my MAC Cosmetics Concealer. This is not the normal color I use because I do like it lighter but your girl was out of her other concealer so I'm going to use what I have. Sometimes I feel a little guilty about buying more stuff and not using what I have. So I'm going to use this up just to sculpt out my brows and make them look on fleek like you guys would say. Yeah, I like them on fleek. Now I'm using the HD Concealer by Ben Nye. This is the color that I'll go for. The reason why I use both is because the Ben Nye is kind of oily. Now it's time for some face painting. So I picked up this product from Walgreens. It was half price, which is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer, Facial Primer. So it does work. Um, not all day, but it does work. And if you can see, my face is so bright and clean, y'all. Now for my eyeshadow primer, I'm using a drugstore brand, which is Milani. And this is really like some good eyeshadow primer. Like honestly, when I first got this, I was like, mm, I don't even see anything on my lids. I don't even think this stuff is going to work, but it does. So I'm going to go into that Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and I'm using the color called Heaven. And that's just going to be my, my brow highlight color. And I'm using the Matte 242 brush. I like to use this brush because you can pick up a lot of product with it without going back and forth so many times. So I'm going to use that. Along in the same palette, I'm going to use the color Honey Butter, which is a great color for transition. I'm going to go back and forth in sweeping motions above and up my crease. And I'm going to take that excess product and blend it into my highlight color. Kind of like transitioning it, you know, fading it in. But yeah, the palette from Too Faced the Natural Matte is a really great palette, especially for those who love neutral colors. Then you can pick this right on up at Ulta, and I think Sephora has it as well. Now into the new Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I love this palette. So I'm going to use the color called Peanut Butter and I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go back and forth above my crease and up. As you can see the color is a little bit deeper and it's such a pretty color. Like these colors really stand out in this palette. So when they come back in stock I would highly suggest getting one from Ulta because it is a must have palette. Like the colors are so rich and so intense. I love this palette. Like I've been using it every single day since I purchased it and trust me. It is worth it. Now into the next color which is called Nuts About You. As you can see the color gets a little bit more deeper. And I'm just going to take that into the crease and sweep it back and forth with my Sedona Lace Brush. I love this brush. It's more like a tapered crease brush and it is like bomb.com. Sedona has the best brushes especially if you love high end brushes. These are great dupes and they last super long. This color is also great for those of you who are darker than myself, like you brown girls. This will be a great color on your complexion. Trust me, this palette is a must have. Into that same palette, I'm going to be using the color called Jelly. And it's more or less a beautiful purple. And it really does look like jelly. I'm not really like a huge grape jelly fan. I like strawberry preserves. But you know what? We're going to use jelly for right now. And I'm just going to place that into my crease. And then I'm going to put my MAC Pro Paint Stick in color pure white pure white onto my lids and spray my brush down and I'm going to be using the color called spread the love from the jelly peanut butter and jelly palette this color is like a peachy color you can see like it does have some frost in the sh in the palette but I don't see it when I put it on it comes out more or less matte but neither so it's a really pretty color I honestly can say it's a beautiful color and the colors are super intense so I'm going to pack that on my entire lower lid
Now, you girls know I am not the best at doing wing eyeliner, but with this Kat Von D ink liner in the color called Trooper, which is black, it makes it so much easier for me. The only reason why I'm not that great at it is because I have hooded lids, and my left lid is more hooded than my right. So sometimes I have the worst experience doing winged eyeliners, so that's why you don't see me do it too much on camera. Now to give my under eyes a little bit more moisturizer, I'm going to be using my Provide Skin Tight 1-6. through You girls have seen me use this many a times in my videos. And while that sits, I'm going to be placing this Too Faced Size Queen Mascara on my individuals. OMG, y'all. This mascara is like bomb. Do you see the size of the brush? It is so huge that you really don't need that many applications with it. You will have like the best huge lashes in the world with this mascara. I'm like a super fan of Too Faced. I swear by them. Now onto my under lids or my under eye. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color yellow. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute before I blend it in with my Sedona Lace Brush. Like I said, they're a great brush company. They do sell cosmetics as well. And I'll post their link below also for you guys. I've had their brush brushes for years. They really, really do last. And they are like some really bomb brushes. Like really, really worth it. On to one of my new favorite Too Faced ones, uh, my new Too Faced products, which is Born This Way Foundation. I'm in the color Honey. Oh my gosh, I love this foundation. Your skin looks flawless. It lasts all day. And with this weird looking brush, it's one of those knockoff artist brush or artist brushes, whatever. I've had this brush for like a year now. Never used it until started watching some videos. And it actually is a really good brush. So if you want a great brush, I wouldn't say get the whole entire set for your eyes because... They're really not worth it but for your face yes now when I like to do my highlights I like to use a lighter foundation and I swear by this Mary Kay time wise foundation I'm in using the color beige for but I love this foundation because it doesn't crack it doesn't fade it's matte but it gives like the perfect full coverage so I'm gonna place that all on the areas where I like to highlight and I'm gonna let it sit in my skin for a few minutes you always want to make sure that it sits in your skin so that way it soaks in your skin and it applies perfectly. And onto my NYX go-to palette, which is the Wonderless palette. I love this palette. Like it is the best palette in the world. I'm going to use the contour color in that. It comes with contour, blush, eyeshadows, and a highlight. And I'm just going to take another one of my Sedona lace brushes and I'm going to chisel out the hollows of my cheeks and give myself some cheekbones along with a nice little hairline that I've got going on here. But yes, the Sedona brushes are like bomb.com, and yes. And this brush here is also from Sedona. It's their dome brush, and I'm going to just contour my nose with that. Now, once to my highlight area, I love the Real Technique sponge. You girls have seen me use that like forever. This is the only beauty blender that I will give props to and swear by. You can pick these up at Ulta and Walmart, and by all means, they are a must-have. And just fixing up some of my contour like I'm doing here, I'm going to go ahead and set my face now with the NYX Black Label Powder, which is in the color Soft Beige. And I use this, and sometimes I use Ben Nye Banana Powder, but for right now, I'm just going to use this one right here. To brighten up my eyes and make them look a lot bigger, I'm going to be using the NYX White Eyeliner. This just, like I said, makes your eyes look huger, bigger, you know, the white part of your eyes look bigger, yes. And I really don't want to wear any eyeliner because of the look, so I really want more attention onto my eyelids. I'm going to dust off that extra excess powder. And onto the lower waterline, I'm going to be using the peanut brittle in the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. This is a beautiful bronzy color. And the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques brush. Just like the sponge. This brush, girls, you have to get it. It's multi-purpose. Like, for real, you can use this brush for anything. I swear, this is like the brush to have. I'm not really sure about all their brushes, but yeah. So just to give my color or my eyelids, my water lids, a little definition I'm in a pop of color, I'm going to go back into that pretty purple, which is the jelly purple color. And on top of that, I'm going to use the LA Girl Super Mega Mascara. 
Now, of course, I did use the Too Faced mascara, but you guys already seen how big that wand was. Could you imagine if I tried to use it for my lower lashes? Girl, there would be eye mascara all over my face. Then my whole look would be messed up. Now, to set my whole entire face, I'm using my Too Faced Cocoa Powder in Medium Tan. This stuff smells so good. It smells so good, you'd want to lick my face. But anyway, on another note, yes, this foundation or this pressed powder is really good. It's like medium to full coverage. Now, for those who love it bronzy, you have to try out Revolution London Vivid Bronzer. This is the color Rock on World, and it's actually six bucks at Ulta. I really thought it was 10, but it's only six, and this bronzer is bomb. Not to mention, y'all, their highlight, which is called Golden Light. I just picked this up, and unfortunately, you can't see it on camera, but yes, yes, hunties, this highlight is perfect, especially for six bucks. Now to finish my look, I'm going to use the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the color Love Hangover. This was free along with some mascara that I got and a facial primer because I bought the jelly palette. So I love this color. It's pretty and this is supposed to last six hours. This blush, we shall see. To line my lips, I'm using something really inexpensive, which is NK Lip Liner in the color Mink. You can get this from shopmissa.com. It's gorgeous, and I love this color. It's like a mauve, a mauve color. So, so pretty. Now, to finish my lip, I'm going to be using the Ulta brand lip color in Perfect Nude. These were $3 on Sunday. All of their Ulta brand lipsticks were $3. So, I bought six of them, and I also got this one here, y'all, which is called Simply Natural, just to give myself like that ombre look. Yes, I love neutral colors like this, so you girls, check out Ulta. And to set my makeup, the entire look, I'm using the Skin Denevia, the makeup finishing spray. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay diva and divalicious, and I'll check you guys out soon.